So let's have a chat. Let's have some fun. Maybe not really some fun. It's been ages since I've really posted a lot of anything original. Not just on here, but like all of my media stuff. And it's got me thinking because like a lot of it is like since the end of like, you know, the lockdowns and, like, not that COVID's not still a thing, because it certainly is, and people are still bloody dying of it, but since, like, the restrictions ceased and things went back to so-called normal, that I just don't really post much of anything of my own. Sometimes I'll, like, you know, share something or, you know, reblog or whatever, but when it comes to like my own stuff, it's been pretty much like silent. It's almost like I've been scared to post my own stuff. And I don't know whether that's like a post pandemic thing, because I've noticed not a lot of other people are posting like their own life either. And if that's like a, you know, inshitification of like social media in general thing or if it's more a me thing in that like a couple of years back I had oh a doozy of year a rotten year and there were times that I kind of reached out for help and you know was just trying to express that I'm in a shit situation and please be patient with me and from that, I got absolute vitriol. I got, like, some real serious, like, hate from family members that put me into a suicidal spiral. Um, and just all this judgment. And it's just like, wow... <laughs> Kick the hurting girly while she's down. But I wonder if that has affected my confidence to just post anything of myself. And, you know, it, it's me trying to figure out, is it a me thing? Or is it a societal thing? Or is it both? And, like, let's be honest, like, the world is complex and it's probably both. Like, because, again, I've noticed it, you know, so much elsewhere. And, like, you know, since then I've been kind of on and off with engaging with Facebook at all. Because that place is toxic as shit. Um, and that's honestly not good for me to be there. And it's not good for me to be on all these sites where I'm just doom scrolling, let's be honest. And I know that I need to start creating more, outputting more, and inputting less because, like, for so long now, it's just been constant input, 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 input. And I've barely been able to think. Like, you know, there's some great things that I watch. There's some great things that I learn. Absolutely, but like what I actually watch and learn compared to the amount of I'm gonna say mindless shit and advertising just sucks. It just really sucks. And I don't want to be that, but then also if I'm deciding to cut down my input and I'm not outputting then that leads to a really depressive place as well feeling disconnected isolated lonely like I battle with that enough anyway and like I'm always going to battle with that I'm the kind of person that even if I'm constantly surrounded by the best people in the world I'm going to still feel lonely um and like that's that's complex stuff and like you know I've recently got an autism diagnosis, and that might be part of it too. 
I was diagnosed at uh, autism level two, but I was like a hair off being level three. And the main reason that I wasn't level three was my social motivation, which is like very high, like surprisingly high. And I think that's, you know, why, like, I'm an extrovert, I'm a people person, but I'm also a dork and a weirdo. And, you know, we love that, but it's difficult to have that disconnect. And, like, especially when, like, 2022 was an atomic bomb on my social life, my family life, everything. And I'm still suffering from that. I am. Like, you know, it's hard to, like, relearn which, like, friends to trust and which of been kind of awful and sometimes I just don't know like and that's yeah again the autism thing where I don't know if somebody is being genuine with a thing or just trying to blow me off like you know when I'm like hey let's catch up or you know hey I'd like to hang out and you know people are busy I get that I understand that. I've, I've been the busy person before. Um, and, you know, like, life and chronic illnesses are hard. I get that. I've got multiple chronic illnesses. Yay! Um, I just don't know. But what I do know is that I need to start creating more. You know, I'm on my way to, on my inner process towards applying for disability, and hopefully that'll help a lot. Hopefully that'll, th- like, it'll take down the constant hoops that I need to jump through so I have more, like, brain space, more spoons. If you're not familiar with spoon theory, go look it up. Um, more spoons for doing creative things. More spoons for painting, drawing, making. I'd like to get into some sculpting, not heavily, but some. And I just don't have the space for this if I'm constantly scrolling. Is this something that you've struggled with before? I'd like to hear if you have. Um, just like more so the input input, input, and not being able to output even if you are like a a creative person who loves making things, who loves that output. That's that's what I'm, at least, you know, that's where I'm at at the moment. I want to be more output. I miss the media days where it was... You sharing what you're doing and your friends sharing what you're doing and you're actually seeing it rather than just, like, resharing, like, these things have been reshared forever out of the ether and just reacting to reactions to reactions to reactions of content. Like, don't get me wrong, I I do like a good, like, reaction vid, but I'm not sure it's the best thing to be consuming. I want to feel more connected to the people around me, and that's hard in this day and age of media. Um, and it's hard when you're disabled or, you know, got other things going on, or all your friends are constantly busy, so you're just kind of stuck at home feeling lonely. I don't know what I'm going on with this part. Um, I'll probably do some editing on this part. Yeah. But I want to make more. I'm starting with this, and hopefully this does actually lead to me making more. If not, oh well. Um, At least I made this. At least this is something. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.